my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today I am bringing you a little update from an experiment I've been conducting over the past month using small leather goods that I have not used before. Now the two pieces in question are the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer and the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder in the Damier Azure canvas. Now the reason that this is particularly relevant is because in one of my videos I went through my SLGs and the pieces that I have just not used and I have a couple of pocket organizers and I had this unused six ring key holder. Now what I was using instead was a card holder or a compact wallet and this six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton as well but in the epi leather. So let's give you a quick rundown of the pocket organizer. The pocket organizer, this one was a limited edition from Virgil's collection. It is a beautiful kind of Tyrellian leather with this kind of ombre fade from pink to purple. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. It's really soft to use. Now, I had not used it and it was just I thought out of pure laziness so I wanted to give it a good go. Um, <laughs> look a couple of things a couple of pros. Um, capacity wise it, it holds a lot. Um, you can already tell how this is going can't you? It holds a lot. Um, in terms of being able to readily see and access your pieces yep you can definitely do that. Um, and it looks just so, so pretty inside your handbag and when you pull it out. I think what I've really struggled with with this particular piece, however, is the fact it's a pocket organiser, meaning it's supposed to sit in your pocket or down in your pants pocket, not inside of a handbag. And so when it's not in a particular like when the handbag doesn't have an organizer for it and it's just in your handbag amongst your other pieces, if your bag is a little on the larger side, so my Fendi baguette here, sometimes I'll open it and find it's just flopped open and things are kind of sitting inside of it. Um, and so it's not particularly tidy. And what that has resulted in is some little marks on the leather. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like some little dents there um, where I've opened it up and found other pieces on the inside of this more soft leather kind of pressing against it. And the first time I saw that, I was like, no. And then I was like, oh, well, oh, well. So that has been an issue a couple of times with this and it just annoys me. The other thing is trying to get the cards out. The slots are really quite tight and yeah, I don't know. I just find it harder to use than a card holder. And then with cash, it's kind of the same as a traditional card holder. I just kind of shove it um, underneath. But it is not exactly streamlined. Um, so what have I got in there? One, two, three cards, four cards, five, six cards, and a little bit of cash. Six cards and a bit of cash, and that's how thick it is. So, I mean, it's been working using my regular size baguette down there, but I don't know if this is a piece that I would choose for all of my bags, especially my mini bags. So if I compare it to a typical card holder that I would use, I'll just transfer the cards out. So I've just transferred the contents out of the pocket organizer and into this little card case and you can see the difference like it's just you can see the difference so yes they're about the same size when you hold them up against each other but just in terms of the volume of this one when it's got things in it it's just it's not my preference it's not my preference I prefer my little card holder from Chanel any day or my Fendi card holder so for me the pocket organizer is a fail <laughs> Next we have the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder in canvas. Now, <laughs> again, um, I hadn't used this. I'd purchased it pre-loved from Connor at Conrad's Closet and I wanted some Damia Azua. I have the Damia Azua Eva clutch. There's the garbage man. 
Um, I have the Demia Azure Eva Clutch and I wanted some more Demia Azure because it's just a canvas that I didn't have much of and I always liked it but I didn't really see any pieces that kind of spoke to me. When Connor listed this one for sale, I snapped it up. Now, why did I buy it when I already have a six ring key holder? Well, because it was different and we have lots of different SLGs for other things. So as I'm sitting here holding it now, something that really annoys me about it, see I can go like that, I can just press in the bottom of it and it kind of opens up in this weird way. Um, it's, it's, uh, I just, I don't know, seems untidy. The other thing that annoys me about it is see how the canvas kind of lips up at the ends. Um, that's also annoying compared to my existing one. I know these are petty things, but when you use things multiple times a day, every day, they can really grind on you. The other thing I find with this one is when I open it, it's harder to find the little snap lock to close it. So you're kind of doing this and then trying to get it in close and then I just, throw it in my bag because I can't be bothered mucking around with it. Um, yes, it has exactly the same capacity as the Noir one. So it has six keys and it also has this little slip function here where you can put some access cards in as well. Oh my God, it won't close. Close. Right. So putting these two side by side the reason i originally bought the epi noir was because it didn't have a button on the front because i was watching a lot of reviews from people saying this button tarnishes loses its brass finish if you have a coated button the coating comes off and it just looks scraggy and yuck so i thought okay well i'll just eliminate that and i won't have a button and number two because it's leather and it's just slightly embossed there with the Louis Vuitton logo but otherwise pretty undercover. Now this feels unbelievable and yes it's been worn in because I've been using it non-stop since hmm again probably three years I suppose three years um but this one I can just go snap like, I don't even have to, it's not hard, snap. It's not hard. This one, I don't know why it's hard or if it's got anything to do with the canvas, but it's just super annoying. So, <laughs> my preference is the leather, absolutely. It feels softer, it's nicer to hold on to. This one has, I don't know, it's just hard and rough and has these curly up edges. I just, it's just not as luxurious to me. It really isn't. Um, call me a princess, maybe I am, but honestly, I really, really prefer these low maintenance, very small incognito kind of SLGs that just do their job and make your life easier and still give you joy when you use them. Yes, both of these pieces are absolutely gorgeous, but having used them for a month, I probably won't use them again. There'll probably be another vlog sale. And you know what? After selling some things, I've realized how little sentimentality I attach to things. And this is gorgeous. This was a Virgil piece, you know, and that's really special. And that will be really special to somebody who doesn't care about how easy it is to use like I do. So as much as I'm happy to have some kind of impractical handbags. It just does not do the same for me to have impractical small leather goods at all. So just to make it absolutely clear, this one was a fail as well. So what are your thoughts? Do you have a different perspective to me? Um, I, I was actually quite surprised at how much I disliked using them and how difficult it was for me to just push through that kind of, you know, habit period of 21 days and then things would be normal. Maybe if I didn't have the other pieces, it wouldn't annoy me so much. I still think it would, but you know, we've got to take that into account. So yeah, tell me what you think. Are you at all surprised by my conclusions? I would love to know. There's a fly. Is it a fly? There's a fly. Anyway, uh, 
If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd love to see you back here. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. Sundays? Sometimes some extra ones. So if you want to head back and watch some more videos, I will leave some here for you to uh, enjoy. Otherwise, hopefully, I'll see you around for my next one. Ciao.